Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready. This is Daniel White the Third with the Second Coming Watch update. This is update number 406. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy-related headlines, which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First up today, according to the Jerusalem Post, Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas said during his speech at the UN General Assembly, in New York, that peace between Israel and the Palestinians will result in recognition of Israel from 57 Arab states. He said, let us envision another future in which Israel will gain the recognition of 57 Arab and Muslim countries and where the states of Palestine and Israel will coexist in peace in order to realize each people's hopes for progress and prosperity. Speaking at length about the peace process, Abbas tried to reassure the international community that the Palestinians' new status at the UN would not compromise the fragile calm on the ground. Second today, according to the Times of Israel, Hours after Hamas and Islamic Jihad officials exhorted Palestinians to declare a third intifada against Israel, violent demonstrations flared up on Friday in several locations throughout Jerusalem, the West Bank and the Gaza Strip, resulting in multiple Israeli injuries. Friday marked the 13th anniversary of the outbreak of the Second Palestinian Intifada against Israel's occupation of the West Bank and Gaza. In Jerusalem, three Israeli border policemen were injured by young Palestinian stone throwers during a protest near the old city's Damascus Gate. Thirteen people were arrested over the disturbances. In other incidents, several Palestinians Israeli citizens and Israeli security officials were injured as the IDF attempted to break up demonstrations. Third, today, according to Fox News, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, along with fellow diplomats, met briefly on Thursday with his Iranian counterpart, marking the highest level meeting between the two countries since the Iranian Revolution of 1979. EU Foreign Policy Chief Catherine Ashton later described the talks as substantial and said they had set the stage for a new round of negotiations over Iran's nuclear program on October 15th and 16th in Geneva. Speaking to reporters later, Kerry warned there was still a lot of work to be done but added he welcomed the change in tone. Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif said he was satisfied with this first step. Fourth today, according to Russia Today, UN chemical weapons inspectors in Syria are investigating seven cases of alleged chemical weapons use, including three incidents around the capital, Damascus. This comes following the chemical attack on August the 21st in Gauta. The inspectors are due to finalize their work on Monday, adding that a comprehensive report is expected to be ready by late October. Syria has become a full member of the Global Anti-Chemical Weapons Treaty, while Assad personally vowed to hand over the country's chemical arms to be destroyed. Fifth today, according to AFP, Israel denounced Iran's call 
to acknowledge its nuclear weapons, accusing its new leader, Hassan Rouhani, of diverting attention from the regime's own nuclear work. Rouhani, who is seeking a deal with the West on a nuclear standoff, called in a U.N. speech for the abolition of all nuclear weapons and urged Israel to join the Non-Proliferation Treaty. Yuval Stinitz, the head of the Israeli delegation at the, UN, at the UN General Assembly, said Rouhani was trying to smile his way to the bomb. He added, Israel is a very responsible country, a responsible democracy that needs to survive and defend itself in one of the most difficult and hostile neighborhoods on the face of the earth. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in Colossians 3, 4, When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Our second coming quote for today is from Adrian Rogers. He said, We ought to be living as if Jesus died yesterday, rose this morning, and is coming back this afternoon. In closing, Please remember the words of the Lord in Matthew twenty four forty two. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty four forty four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Keep looking up, for your redemption draweth nigh. And let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator, who said, Even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you.